Continuing coverage tonight on the horrific crash on I-75 last week. One of the survivors we told you about on Friday was released from the hospital yesterday. Catherine Marshan sat down with him for an exclusive interview tonight. She joins us now with the emotional story. Catherine. Josh, Ryan Humphreys debated taking back roads home from work Thursday evening, but decided to stay on I-75. Little did he know that that small decision would change his life. The traffic slows down, we come to a stop, and next thing I remember is I'm waking up in the back of an ambulance. Ryan Humphreys was driving one of the nine vehicles involved in the deadly accident on I-75 Thursday. This is what his truck looks like now. Friends and family could not believe he survived the crash. I mean, I'm, I'm surprised myself that I came away from that truck. Definitely blessed that I was able to come away from that accident like I did. Humphreys was wearing a seat belt, but the force of the crash broke his seat and threw him into the back seat of the truck. It sewed from right about here up. He showed us his injuries, a fractured elbow, staples in his head, cuts on his hand, and third degree burns on his heel from something hot enough to melt his sneaker. I mean, I think it, it was absolutely terrible that this happened and it shouldn't have happened in the first place. Though the investigation is still underway, Humphrey thinks the driver of the 18 wheeler that caused the wreck should be in jail. I'd like to see something happen soon because this is unnecessary and there are a lot of families who want answers to this and they deserve answers. As of now, the truck driver has not been charged. Josh. Catherine, thank you. Chattanooga police are collecting data and waiting for toxicology reports for the driver of the semi truck involved in that crash. He appeared to be not quite right, but it's very hard to elaborate on that without seeing the blood work because everybody acts different. Today, News Channel 9 found out Benjamin Brewer has had four speeding tickets in Laurel County in the last 17 years. He also had three separate charges of driving without proper tags and registration. All of the violations were dismissed. Chattanooga police say they are pulling data on the truck that could tell if the brakes were applied before Thursday's crash. It would also possibly tell if the truck was malfunctioning in any way. That information could come as early as tomorrow afternoon.